the world's best putting aid. Mainly because it's free, and secondly, because everyone can get their hands on one of these. Guys, how you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. It's Simon down here at Burford Golf Club. I've had a short break, taking the week off, regathering the thoughts and coming up with some new content for you guys. And today I feel like I've got a very useful tip that I literally woke up in the middle of the night and thought of. I don't think anyone's ever thought of this before. Obviously, the concept's always been there, but using a scorecard to obviously kind of gel it all together hasn't been. So if you like this video, leave it a like. As always, please subscribe and um, yeah, let me show you why this drill is so good for your putting and very easy for you to use as well. So number one when it comes to putting drills for me personally is making sure the ball starts on the correct line. So the scorecard in itself is perfect for this and I'll show you how I made it. I mean to be perfectly honest it doesn't take a genius. But you see a lot of putting mirrors and aids out there that do cost about 40, 50 quid. Now obviously you can't see yourself in the scorecard. It's not a mirror. If you want to see yourself then you have to spend 40 50 quid but the putter doesn't know whether your eyes are over the ball doesn't know whether you're looking at it doesn't know whether your hair's good so at the end of the day as long as that putter face is at the intended line and the ball starts on the intended line you're gonna hold more putts that is putting 101 consistency bringing that club face consistently on the intended line there goes the other scorecard because it's not back down um, that basically is putting 101 so let me talk to you how I quickly made this one up and then we'll hit a few pats and show you a few drills. Okay, so obviously for step one, very simple, find the middle of your card. I basically placed the ball on the card there <clears throat> and hole punched either side of the ball. Now this gate is relatively tight. Basically the ball can just get through there. I'll show you on the other angle. The ball basically can just get through that gap. Now the tighter it is, the obviously the more difficult it is. If you're just starting, obviously make it a tiny bit wider. But obviously for that size, it's just gonna get through. And as long as it gets through that gate on the correct pace, it's always gonna go in that hole. So it doesn't matter what technique, what grip, how you're holding, what putter, whether it's 100 pounds or one pound from the charity shop, as long as that ball rolls through that gate there, ball's gonna go in the hole. That scorecard is still on the bounce. And then for number two, obviously you've got to hole punch two holes either side of your putter head. Now obviously I'm not the smartest man in the world, hence why I became a golf coach. So I actually made mine too small, but then I obviously leaned out both tees either side so my putter head can then get through the target. This one's important mainly because it means that no matter what your technique, what putter you're using, whether it's one pound or 300 pounds, that putter head is going to hit the ball square out in the middle each time. That's really important for pace. So obviously holding putts is all about creating, putting on the right line and hitting it the correct pace. So if you're hitting it out of the toe all the time, it means that it's going to come off the putter face differently than off the middle. So consistently out the middle is obviously key. As I said, doesn't matter what your technique, whether you're looking at the hole, looking at the ball, using one hand, two hands, all the putter knows is where it's getting hit and then what line it's then going on. So as long as your putter head is going through this gate, and then the ball goes through the other gate, it means the ball's gonna go in the hole as long as you've read the putt correctly, pretty much 100% of the time. And this is a great drill in terms of getting your confidence up for those shorter putts or even those breaking putts, because um, uh, every putt should relatively be a straight putt in your eyes. Obviously the hole then breaks right to left or downhill or uphill, and that is all down to your green reading. Okay, so basically that is how to make sure your putter face is in line with the intended target as well as obviously hitting the putters through the gates, making sure the ball's rolling on that intended target. But how about pace? How about power? How do you know how hard to hit a putt? Well, this is all about breaking putts. Using another scorecard to show yourself the front of the hole. And you might be going, Simon, what is the front of the hole? Let me show you. So now you might be saying, Simon, why have you just put a scorecard inside this hole? and it all will make sense. A lot of people, especially amateurs, when they first start putting, is they hit putts way too hard on breaking putts. Therefore, they're taking all the break out of the hole. Now, obviously, if they hole it, brilliant. However, if they miss it, it means they are now six foot, seven foot, eight foot past the hole, and that's when we get into four putt territory. So, when I say front of the hole on this putt, I mean the front of the hole is basically at the top edge here, meaning that if I miss the putt 
I'm only going to be a foot, maybe two foot below the hole, leaving myself an easy gimme shot. So now I've set up my gateway with the scorecard. I'm going to hit a few putts, making sure I get the right pace for that ball to go in the hole. And if I miss, it means that I'm only going to be leaving myself a gimme. So I strongly recommend laminating and then obviously sticking pegs at the back because making sure that the scorecard is perfectly flat on the ground is really important. However, I still think this is a great drill and a great exercise and a great aid, basically, which is free. It gives you all three components of putting, which is pace, line, and then obviously reading your putts in terms of using the scorecard, finding the front of the hole, hitting a dead straight putt, imagining the pace is perfect. The reason this is so great is that if you do miss it, A, you're giving it a chance, but B, you're not giving yourself three putts um, after three putts. And that is basically what adds up most people's scores on a round of golf. I struggle with this incredibly, and I know if I was to practice this, not do long drive, then obviously my putting itself would increase as well. So guys, there you have it. There is my best ever putting guide. That won't cost you a thing, and pretty much will give you an understanding idea of how to putt when it comes to power, line, and obviously centering that putter face. If you do all three of those, that is basically putting. What you gotta worry about is reading greens, and uh, that takes a lifetime to complete. Guys, if you like this video, leave it a like. As always, please subscribe. Catch you guys later.